Sophie had always been fascinated by balloons. They were so colorful and light, and they seemed to float effortlessly in the air. One day, she came across a bright red balloon tied to a tree outside her house. She couldn't resist the temptation and took it inside. As she played with the balloon, she noticed something strange. The balloon seemed to be following her wherever she went, almost as if it had a mind of its own. She tried to ignore it, but the balloon persisted, hovering over her head, making her feel uneasy. That night, Sophie had a strange dream. She was walking in a dark forest, and the red balloon was floating beside her. Suddenly, the balloon burst, and she woke up with a start. But to her horror, she found that the red balloon was still there, hovering over her bed. Over the next few days, strange things started happening. Sophie would wake up in the middle of the night to find the balloon hovering over her, watching her. Objects would move on their own, and strange noises echoed through the house. Sophie started to feel like she was being watched all the time, and she couldn't shake off the feeling of dread. She knew that something was wrong, and the red balloon was at the center of it all. One night, she decided to get rid of the balloon once and for all. She tried to pop it, but it wouldn't burst. She tried to cut it, but it wouldn't tear. The red balloon seemed indestructible. Desperate, Sophie searched for answers and found out that the balloon was cursed. It had been used in a dark ritual by a group of witches, and now it was bound to her, following her everywhere, causing chaos and fear. Sophie knew that she had to break the curse, or she would be trapped with the red balloon forever. She sought out a wise old woman who knew about curses and magic. The old woman told her that the only way to break the curse was to find the source of the magic that created it. Sophie followed the old woman's instructions and found the witch's lair deep in the forest. She confronted the witches and demanded that they break the curse. But the witches refused, and a fierce battle ensued. Sophie fought bravely, but she was outnumbered. Just when she thought she would be defeated, the red balloon floated in front of her, blocking the witch's spells. It seemed to be protecting her. With the red balloon's help, Sophie managed to defeat the witches and break the curse. She returned home, and the red balloon floated away, no longer bound to her. Sophie knew that she had faced her fears and emerged stronger. She was grateful for the red balloon's help, but she also knew that she had to be careful. Magic was powerful, and she didn't want to be caught in its grip again.